The Simple Path to God, Discovering the Way Back to Authentic Faith. Father Spiridon Bailey is a priest of the Diocese of Great Britain in Western Europe of the Russian Orthodox Church outside of Russia, serving in England and Ireland. On this video podcast, he applies the teaching of the Church Fathers to modern life with reference to the Sunday Gospels. Here now is Father Spiridon. The Scriptures call us command us to rejoice in God. Not just to rejoice in the material things of this world, to rejoice when our health is restored or we get a pay rise at work, but to rejoice in God, to rejoice in His beauty, His truth. Our soul is called to rejoice in the very goodness of God. This is the path to true joy, a joy that goes beyond death, an eternal joy, a joy that cannot be taken from us through the changes of circumstances in our lives. But this, this rejoicing is only possible through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. And we read that the Holy Spirit only lives in the just. Who amongst us can dare say that they are just? So how can we do this? We begin through repentance. The body that has sinned must become an instrument, a means of praising God. When we are drunk, let us fast. When we are proud and boastful, let us seek to be humble. If we have stolen, let us ensure we offer recompense. If we have judged somebody, let us try to console them and so on. Let us try to put right what we have done. Christ calls us to worship him, not just in acts of praise, but through our works, our works of repentance, our works of love, works of forgiveness, to be obedient to his commandments. We may dare say that even some of the Ten Commandments we may perform even when we're idle. If we're idle, we may still fail, avoid killing or stealing or slandering. But Christ calls us to be active. He calls us to, to love those who harm and hate us. He calls us to forgive. He calls us to actively work in his service. Now, of course, it is only through the grace of God that we are saved. And all the works of the world will not be enough to get us to heaven. We look at the works of, in our lives, we know that they are not worthy of heaven. So how, how do we make ourselves what well, we don't? It is the grace of God. When we make this offering, when we seek to serve, when we seek to repent and be obedient, God grants us his grace. The Holy Spirit strengthens us. Let us be clear. It isn't enough to confess or proclaim Christ on our lips with our words or say a prayer. Christ said there will be many on Judgment Day who will say to him, Lord, Lord, we did such and such in your name. And he will say to them, be gone, get away from me. I never knew you. He does not know them at that moment because he has not dwelt in their heart. Such simple thing to say with the lips, but let our repentance, let our offering to God, let our lamentation be true. Let us truly recognize the sinfulness of our lives. When we see the sinfulness of our lives and recognize how, how just our condemnation would be, how worthy of hell we truly are, when the heart begins to grieve over what it sees in the truth of itself, the heart then may begin to glimpse the true compassion, the love, the forgiveness of God. And the heart that truly sees the love and forgiveness of God may truly rejoice in the Lord. The Simple Path to God 
discovering the way back to authentic faith. Father Spiridon Bailey is the author of several books, including Orthodoxy and the Kingdom of Satan and Journey to Mount Athos. You can email Father Spiridon at simplepath at ancientfaith.com. That's simplepath at ancientfaith.com. This has been a listener-supported presentation of Ancient Faith Radio.